Hey YouTube, Sam here. Oh, we're with the O2 Buick Rendezvous. And I was in the middle of doing an oil change. And I think I may be a very happy camper. We shall see. Um, I was doing an oil change and kind of a review on a, a leak seal stuff. Some uh, trying to figure out if I could just slow this leak down for now until I can have time to diagnose and hopefully fix it if if I ever get to that point but coming upon the oil filter on this car the thing was I went to put the oil wrench on it and it spun so the oil filter was not tight on this car so I'm really hoping that maybe that's the part of the problem um, now I'm just gonna shoot some cleaner up here and put this on but I figured Kind of why I'm doing this, um, I would kind of show you a diagnosis sort of video on how to kind of find maybe where an oil leak is. I mean, I'm no expert, but if you do a little detective work, it can be fairly simple to um, at least get a good general direction of where it's coming We're from. We're at the top of the car here, and uh, generally I tend to start at the top, um, but unless you see really wet, really greasy all the time oil, um, you know, it's probably, it could be your valve cover gaskets, um, and that kind of stuff up here is about it, um, which are a pretty common source of leak, I don't know, in this particular car. Now there's oil all over it, I have to say, um, some around the PCV valve, I think that's what that is, um, and that kind of stuff, you'll get some blow by and people putting oil in and spilling and that kind of stuff, but it, for the most part, if you look at it, it's all pretty dry oil, so it's more than likely a lot of this is just blowback from driving down the road and whatever the oil leak is. Now you can kind of reach down here and go down here, and I can tell that this is a little damp, but not too bad, which very well I could have a valve cover leak as well. This could be my problem. I don't know if the oil filter is the problem, but I'm thinking at the very least I might have a little leak up here, but it's not causing the massive drainage of oil going down on the ground while I'm driving. Alright, and then I come down here underneath the car and uh, get kind of a general look. Now I uh, spilled a bunch of antifreeze, so you'll see some real wet drips here and there. Um, I didn't really spill it. I was doing another video on the thermal, some sort of sensor. Anyways, and uh, antifreeze came out when I did that. So, you have to excuse some of the drippage, but look at the dark, nasty oil there. So it's obvious whatever it is is probably above that point there. Now we come over here on this frame rail, and this side over here, not too bad. I mean, there's residual, it's a little bit, but it's what I would consider blow by or blow where when you're driving down the road, whatever oil leak you have is gonna just cover the bottom of your car, basically. Um, but then you come over to this side, and it is just wet as wet can be. Um, all the way down this side, and all the way up there, all the way back. Now, that could mean it's over here on this side of the motor or something like that. But I look up under here, and it's pretty well dry. Now, it's wet towards the front over here. Button there. I don't but know. anyway, now you can see there's some stuff up there, um, but it's fairly dry. Some stuff up above the pulleys here, but it's fairly dry. It starts getting wet right over here by the, I think it's the air conditioner uh, pulley here, and underneath the main uh, crankshaft pulley here, I believe that's what that is. But most of it is just behind there, and obviously kind of coming down and around the motor this way, because it gets a lot drier when you get back in this section. I mean, like even a look at the boot there is, bone dry so all this i would yet again say it's just uh blowing back into this area i don't think there's actually a leak maybe at the crank sill or something like that but uh, i'm not thinking if there is it's a large one yet again not large enough for the one i have so yet again but still because of the wetness over here, puts us on this side of the, the motor, 
because that side's not near as bad. You can see just lots of nasty right here. So we're gonna, and you can see lots of nasty right here. So we're gonna follow that up towards the front of the motor and see what Line is up, up there. there. So we're gonna follow this nasty just up here. And there's the starter right here. Uh, if you need to know where a starter is on this car, there it is. And it goes up, kinda comes over here, goes up, and right here is the oil filter, which I was saying was really bad. Although it does look like above the oil filter, there could be some up in there. But if you look further up, you can see it's kind of dries out the further up you go. So I'm thinking that that right there has been leaking, coming down, coming down, blowing back, and blowing all over this side of the car. I don't know for sure. But that really makes me think it has something to do with this oil filter and the fact that it was not tight on there at all. Let's hope. Now that I've kind of sort of diagnosed it, got a fairly decent idea, I'm going to try and clean as much of that oil and crud off of there before I change this oil filter and see if it comes back. If I change oil filter and I know it's tight and it comes back, then I know I have a different problem somewhere else. And all I'm going to do is take some uh, super clean and water mix. Uh, I don't know what the exact mix of it is, but it, this is pretty strong. And I'm going to put that bucket underneath there, and I'm just going to kind of go to town rinsing and trying to clean what I can without hosing it down too awful bad. So, anyhow, I'm not going to show that to you. Um, it's just going to be super clean and water and scrubbing. So that would be a pretty boring video if this one might have been boring enough as it is. But I figured I needed to kind of get an idea. I had an idea where it was. I wanted to confirm it by what I saw down there. And I kind of did. Um, yet again, I'm sure there's other leaks in this car. But if that's the one that uh, fixes the main leak, that would be awesome. All right, I'm not going to go any further with this one. Uh, this is just a diagnosis, sort of speak, of what I do to diagnose anyway. This is Sam, Jack of all, master of none. You all have a good one.